hello there. So what did any of you get for Christmas? Because I got something a little surprising in this. Um, I had no idea what my husband was getting me. He said he had already sorted it out and gave no hints, which is unusual for him because usually he can't keep um, surprises like that secret. So <clears throat> I was really really surprised when I opened this because I did not hint at all that I wanted it. Um, I have talked about this brand, A Gallo, which if you're a regular on my YouTube um, channel, you would have seen uh, me reviewing another set, a much smaller set that I got last year when we moved back to Toronto. And then I got a few more to add to it and it was my kind of landscape urban sketching um, little palette because it was the Naturale uh, Uno set so natural set <clears throat> this one is his signature 24 and it's beautiful like so the only other thing that was on this was um, plastic wrap but this is how it's packaged this was actually inside but I sort of repackaged it. I've just been staring at it, um, waiting for the time that I could video this and have my husband out of the house. He's gone back to work, so I can do this. So here's the tissue wrapped around <clears throat> this beautiful handmade um, marble paper from a local artisan. Um, in a CZ, I believe. Everything's Italian. <clears throat> so I can just flip that off. And there's regular sort of palette with a A Gallo gold sticker on it. <clears throat> and then a beautiful um, piece of watercolor paper, which I believe is also an Italian manufacturer. And then inside, <clears throat> these beautiful, beautiful colors. And yet another Italian um, manufacturer, Tintoretto uh, Mop Brush in Zero, 1407. You can see that. It's synthetic. And I guess, I'm not sure if that's, an artist's name, Vallo Kazan, or not. I'm going to have to look into that and find out more. But beautiful brush. I'm just going to slip that off. <clears throat> I forgot about it. There's a little bit of tape there. And lovely. So I'll use the brush to swatch these out. But let's have another look <clears throat> at the colors. So all the colors are painted on, so you have a fairly good idea of what the color is. All hand wrapped, all handmade, and just beautiful. So I'm just going to swatch out this set. Uh, I'll put a card up at the top for previous um, set that I have, and then the supplemental ones but I'll get these unwrapped and we will get swatching so let's take out one of them first though <clears throat> to show you how they're labeled so on the side is the um, pigment on the right side it says PY184 and then the number and the series number on the back. And then the name, which got a little bit covered by the paint on the left side. So that's lemon yellow permanent or giallo limone permanente. So you got the English and Italian on it. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna Take some time 
unwrap these beautiful pieces. Although I just, it's just so nice seeing them out like this. I don't know if anyone else gets a thrill out of seeing colors like this, but I certainly do. And, you know, I did not need this set. I really, really didn't. I have way more than enough um, watercolors as if you've been following me, you'll, you'll know that, but it is beautiful and I really can't wait to have a better look at them. So put that away for now and see you in a minute. So we're back. Everything's out of its wrappers and uh, some of them were labeled by a gallo. Um, some were just labeled with their pigment information. So I wrote um, the actual name on them in that case. And with new brushes, you probably know this already, you really have to get the sizing off. So don't crush it in the bottom of the water. Just sort of work that sizing off until you can get it all away. So I'm using the brush that came with it. And <clears throat> I decided to go for a little bit of a motif from their, I believe it's an olive tree, if you can see that. So I thought I'd just do little leaves so that you can see how opaque or not um, the colors are. So let's start with lemon yellow. <clears throat> so that's PY184. I'm just going to give them a bit of a spray. Get them started. And next is Azo Yellow Gold. And there's such a beautiful smell because there's, um, to preserve them and to keep them from going moldy, um, a gallo adds rosemary oil. And next one is Arancione. It's a beautiful orange. Next is Hokkaido orange. little bit more of a muted orange. It's PY1 or PY216. And as I always do, I'll scan this and have it as a PDF on my website. So you'll be able to get a closer look. Then we have Medici Red, PR168. The paper I'm using is Stillman Burn um, Sketchbook, their beta series. Next is Alizarin Crimson. And this is made up of three pigments. PR177. PR144 and PB19. And then we have Ruby Red. And finally, of the reds, we have 
quinacridone magenta. So moving into the purples, there's quinacridone violet. I have too much water on there. Yep, I do. This is PV55. That was a bit watery, but you can see the beautiful color. <clears throat> and then next is Tyrian Purple, PV15 and PV16. And that's a really nice mauve. Now this paper is very... Um, Beta is I'm not sure hot press. Let me just check. Nope, the beta is cold press, but it, it seems very smooth. Uh, Noturno is the next one. This is PV29, PR101, and PV19. And this is, I believe, sort of like, um, oh, Shadow Violet, their version of it, like the um, Daniel Smith color, and Roman Small has one like it too. Let's make sure I have a clean brush. And then we're in the throne blue. Now this um, half pen looks very uh, very granular consistency, but it, it's perfectly fine. Beautiful, intense blue. And then periwinkle blue. In the second row. Oh, and that's that's a gorgeous sort of blue. I love that. I have a periwinkle blue in my own handmade watercolors, and I just love it. Now this one, this next one, is a very special blue. It's called Yinmin Blue. And it's made up of, let me just, <clears throat> so this is a relatively recent pigment. Um, it's PB86, but the pigment was discovered at the University of Oregon, or Oregon State University, sorry. Uh, it is a mixture of, let me see. <clears throat> so it's discovered accidentally by Professor Mass Subramian. Uh, it's near perfect blue color. And it's made up of, let me just see. What A Gallo says about it. So it's an oxide pigment made from rare earth yttrium, which is the Y, the extremely rare semi-metal indium, the N part, and manganese, the MN part. So that's, this is a very expensive <laughs> blue. It is um, 40 euros if you bought it separately. <clears throat> Other companies, um, other watercolor or art companies have made their own. 
using this pigment. I think Kramer has one and they're all pretty expensive. So getting this in the set is really special. Moving on to a zero. This is kind of the color of Italy, I believe. Their uh, football team is called the Azzurri. I'm just doing sort of <clears throat> kind of random wash, adding a little bit extra pigment and seeing how it dries. That's Aquamarine, which is PB154, PG7, and PB29. So I'm not caring about how this is drying kind of with um, like cauliflower. I just want to see just how it reacts with water. And sorry for clearing my throat. I still have leftover uh, coughing problems from the flu and before that it was a really bad cold so I have back-to-back -back viruses <clears throat> so this is olive green deep oh this harbor blue is just beautiful it's PB 15 3 and PBR 8 this is olive green deep and I'm surprised I don't have this one already because if you know this channel you know how much I love greens <clears throat> I don't think I have oh I have deep olive I'm not sure if that's the same better look at that later the only one I think that I already have that's in the set is the fake green and that's coming up. So that's PY154, PY110, and PB29. Then there's forest green. This is PG7, PBK7, and PY43. And then deep sea green. It's kind of like a viridian green, which you'll know I don't really like. But it's a good mixing color. It's PB18, sorry, PG18, PB29. now this fake green which is beautiful it's py151 and pg17 hence it's more of a yellow with a hint of green and then we have Twin gold. Which is always nice to have. And then transparent red oxide, which is PR101. I know I miss giving 
some of the pigment information, but it's all right down there so you can see. And again, you can check out my website. And lastly, <clears throat> it's a chrome light brown. Now this is, I'll have to go back to the website. This is a crystalline mineral compound and combined. So this is a crystalline mineral, mineral compound combined with PBR8. And so it's quite different and it's quite granulating. And again, I'm surprised I didn't have this in my, <clears throat> my original purchases. And there it is. <clears throat> There's the signature set of 24 by A. Gallo. And I think I will be combining all of them together in this um, palette if they'll fit. I normally take out the insert and then put things on either um, uh, a magnet or I think this one's flat on the inside a magnet or no it's not or museum wax museum wax makes up for kind of <clears throat> these indentations so that they're not flopping all over the place so yeah I think I will combine them because I haven't been using um, this set as much for doing landscape and um, <clears throat> and <clears throat> I'm sorry, uh, <laughs> urban sketching. So I think I will um, combine them all together and use this more as a studio palette. But this palette alone is a really good um, all encompassing um, palette uh, that you can use for any sort of like botanical or um, anything really because it has the cools and the warms of reds um, maybe not as many of the earth colors that I normally go for but then I have the natural palette plus the additional ones that I bought so that sort of makes up for that. So it will be really an all-encompassing um, palette once I get through with it. All right. So again, I didn't ask for more watercolors, um, but it is a very beautiful present. Uh, if it's something that you want to give yourself, I would recommend that. I would recommend, though, um, asking them to send it by regular post only because um, they send it by a courier through DHL and that can get really expensive. Not just the courier price, but all the other additional costs um, for customs and all of that. And I had my second round of paints sent by um, regular posts and it was a lot cheaper. Not a lot cheaper delivery costs, but all those additional costs it was a lot cheaper. So if they will do that for the bigger palettes, I'm not sure, but I would ask, um, cause can't hurt asking. So that's that. And I will have those scanned and up on my website for you to look at. Thanks so much. Bye.